What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So we're about to hop into a video by Wattop. This is Things You Didn't Know, number six. So without further ado, y'all, let's hop straight into this video. Woo! So today, I'm going to show you things you didn't even know existed. Let's go. One of the most amazing phenomena I've ever seen is the Cop Etchels effect. This strange glow can be observed at night when a helicopter takes off or lands in the desert. Oh, wow. The glow caused by sand and dust particles rubbing against the rapidly rotating blades, which oh, have a protective like a metal layer that sparks easily. When taking off or landing in the desert, the helicopter lifts enough sand into the air to produce a noticeable bright wow. glow. Do you know the kind of animated cool. film Kung Fu Panda? Well, I don't know if real pandas know Kung Fu, but I did find a Himalayan bear that's an expert on martial arts. Meet Claude. He lives at the Hiroshima Aza Zoological Park. Almost 20 years ago, Claude was rescued from poachers and given to the zoo, where the caretakers gave the bear cub long sticks to play with. They probably had no idea what would be the consequences. After years of training, Claude has clearly mastered the art of kung fu. He's he may have even started really his own Himalayan kung fu school. Experts in wild animal behavior, however, doubt that Claude could have learned it on his own. He plays with the stick just like a human. There are some things that have nothing in common with fire, and one of them is the bloody sea. Whoa! Unless we're talking about illustrations of the end of the world, when the laws of physics stop working, but usually water doesn't burn. Except on the island of Mocha in Chile, where unique patches of burning water can be seen. Here you'll find unique patches of burning water. Strictly speaking, it's not really water that's on fire. Wells of natural gas are cleverly located on the shore of the island. Under certain conditions, they catch fire and you can see the flames in the water. However, several factors must coincide for this to happen. A low tide and a low wind. Some people say that the end justifies the means, but this is usually said about some pretty creepy things. Not about an inflatable army. Nevertheless, during World War II, Allied troops use exactly that. The US and Britain had entire ghost battalions to deceive the enemy. The American army had 17 inflatable trucks, tanks, and artillery pieces that looked intimidating from a distance. The fake troops were made of inflatable tubes, and for plausibility, they were covered in rubber. From a distance, enemies could really mistake them for a real army. Probably everyone knows more or less what northern lights look like. These green or purple streaks in the sky can only be seen in certain areas, and only at certain times. But sometimes solar activity causes so special person. magnetic storms, filling the sky with shades of red. In 2012, solar storms showered the Earth with a stream of charged particles. These particles excited oxygen atoms in the upper layers of the Earth's atmosphere, and I won't bore you with a lot of complicated terms. The point so is that the sky turned red. But this doesn't mean that the end of the world is near, it's just the sun having a little fun. And it also gives you a chance to take some cool pictures for Instagram. If you've been on the internet long enough, you probably thought that this is photoshopped or some kind of fake created to shock everyone. But no, this isn't a fake. In any case, there is a man who creates food that looks disgustingly like human body parts. All right, keep it cool. Keep it cool, keep your food inside real. your body. It's simply bread and other baked goods made by Kitawa Unarum. Why? Honestly, I don't know. I guess he has a peculiar sense of humor. Have you ever seen a waterfall falling upward? Yep, you can't just make a video without unusual waterfalls. This natural phenomenon is known as a reverse waterfall, and it can be found in several places on our planet, including Iceland, India, and Scotland. If you look at a reverse waterfall from afar, you might think it's a real miracle that's broken all the laws of physics. Seriously, how can water flow upward? Where's gravity? But sadly, there's no magic here. Just like the burning water from before, there's a simple explanation. Only here, instead of gas, the phenomena is caused by strong winds. So here's a fact, lawns have pimples too. Well, this is something like me. that, like, like swellings that you have to get rid of. They're also called lawn bubbles. For some reason, this makes me like 
<laughs> a phenomenon that occurs after heavy rains when rainwater gets sort of caught between the layers of the lawn. It can't absorb into the soil because the clay or plastic layer gets in the way, and the result is something like a blister on the lawn. A big green blister filled with dirty water that can damage the grass. And what to do in such a case? You've got to squeeze it out. Well, not with your hands, of course. Find something big and sharp. And remember, never use a pitchfork on your face. Have you ever wondered what really rotates the Earth? No, not the inertia of ancient cosmic processes, not some magical force. The Earth is rotated by reindeer. Seriously, see for yourself. Most likely, rotating is an instinctive form of defense. Reindeer are herd animals, used to being hunted by predators, and spinning in place helps protect them. Children and females are in the center of the circle, and the males walk around them to protect the herd. Each one oh, has wow. their back, so to speak, to the one ahead of them. Also, with the constant rotation, it'll be harder for the predator to choose a prey and aim. What happens if you break a raw chicken egg? At best, a fried egg. At worst, a slimy spot on the floor that your roommate won't be happy about. What about the same experiment but underwater? Really deep. Oddly enough, at great depths, an egg without its shell doesn't lose its shape. Because of sufficient pressure, it even tries to hold it. It tries its best. Honestly, I don't even know what it looks like anymore. Like frozen bubbles? A forgotten dry breakfast king size? Or is it an unknown alien life form from the new Ridley Scott movie? Such perfectly round or almost perfectly round ice boulders can be found during the cold season on the shores of some lakes. For example, Lake Michigan. And yes, aliens definitely didn't participate in their creation. At least they didn't leave any trace behind. As for the round shape, it's pretty simple. When chunks of ice break off near the shore, the waves rolling them back and forth gradually round the edges. Of course, the water for this must be cold enough not to melt the ice, but also warm enough not to freeze permanently. 50 years ago, it seemed like cars parked outside every house was a fantasy. But what about airplanes? It's already happening today. You just have to know where to look. The Cameron Air Park Estates area is an absolutely unique place. It's located right next to Cameron Park Airport, and every home here comes with its own hangar. So owners can store their planes within walking distance and, of course, roll them out onto the street to the runway to take to the skies at any minute. By the way, pay attention to the wide streets. Not only can you drive there without fear of hitting someone with your wings, but you can also take off or land if necessary. That's kind of cool. For those who are left without music while traveling, they've learned to make music musical roads. Quite simple. The roadway is laid in such a way as to cause tactile vibration and audible noise while driving. It's transmitted through the wheels to the car body, and you hear a tune. That is so The dope. magic of physics and little channels in the asphalt. Today, musical roads exist in Denmark, Hungary, Japan, South Korea, the United States, China, Iran, San Marino, Taiwan, the Netherlands, and Indonesia. Okay, let's be honest. Everyone has at least once wanted to get a cloak of invisibility as a gift. My body's gone. That's an invisibility cloak. And it doesn't matter for what purpose. But while we were all dreaming while watching Harry Potter, Hyper Stealth Corporation developed a transparent material that allows you to hide the objects behind it. No power supply, no screen system, just light refraction tricks. The material refracts it so you can see only the objects very oh, close or very yeah. far away. Keep your distance and you'll be fine. Drones are already being used almost everywhere, so why not trust them with firefighting as well? You know, there's really a lot of advantages here. People don't come into direct contact with fire, and drones get to the source of the fire much faster than deploying all kinds of ladders and hoses. Firefighting drones also have the ability to shoot in the infrared spectrum, just in case the smoke makes it difficult to assess the exact location for the powdery delivery. It was strange that so many people avoided this thing for so long, but a Chinese company started producing these devices devices in earnest. Maybe in another five years, drones will be able to pull people out of burning buildings. It's believed that the most powerful and highest tsunami reached more than 500 meters in height and was recorded in 1958 in Alaska. Well, the highest normal waves are recorded off the coast of Portugal near the city of Nazaret. During the period from October to February, this place attracts hundreds of tourists ready to admire the huge waves. The height of the crest sometimes exceeds 30 meters, and someone even tried to ride them, and someone even managed to. 
There are many objects and living things that are capable of glowing. Pictures on clothes, fish, insects, mushrooms. Wait, mushrooms? Yeah, that's right. Mushrooms can do that too. Although scientists have no idea why they need it. Most species of mushrooms emit a faint light that can only be seen in very dark conditions. But there are some that are quite bright. For example, Poramycena manipularis shines so bright that it can be seen 40 meters away. And you can even read in mushroom light. We'll see you later. Yeah, my only thing is the bear. I think that that's like really sad. Like at first it was cute, you know what I'm saying? Like cute little animal things. But when you think about it, that bear is probably bored out of his fucking mind being in there, like just there all day. It's, it's really sad. Like just, what other reason would it be doing that? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure like bears are like really smart animals, but I think a lot of the things that these animals be doing in these zoos it'd be out of boredom and like all right y'all that was my reaction to this video if you guys enjoyed my reaction please make sure to leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next reaction video